there are so many things on this journey that fucked us over. Reprogramming consciously and subconsciously beliefs, ideas, thoughts, behaviors that we had to say goodbye to in order for me here today, having and enjoying the life as a business owner, as a female entrepreneur. But that wasn't the case always for us. That's why on this segment, every Monday, we are getting together with Lucy Becker to bring to you the segment of the things that fucked us over. It's just a normal conversation conversation between two female entrepreneurs that enjoy their businesses, that are thriving with their businesses, to share in a raw, real way. What are the things that we had to overcome and how we did it and why we did it and what is the impact and results on your money mindset and your ability to grow your business? It's a very fun conversation and I can wait for you to listen to this segment that we have for you. Hello and welcome to The Money Mindset Show, the place where we help female entrepreneurs to transform their mind so that they can achieve financial success in the least amount of time. Here, we talk about subconscious mind, we talk about money mindset chips, money mindset blocks, a strategy so that you can bypass your own money mindset and increase your income, bear your relationship with money and grow your business. On this podcast, our unique goal is for you to walk away with a different perspective and with a different set of thoughts, beliefs and mindset that helps you in your journey to achieve financial success. How was that party, please? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so we've been planning it for like 12 weeks and it was basically just like me and my sister went to an event and we're like, she came to my house and we're like sitting at my kitchen table and she's just like, man, I could run a queer club. I could totally do this. I'm like, well, like owning a club is like fabulously expensive. It's so expensive yeah. and hard to run a club. I'm like, what if we just ran an event? It's like, what if we just did like a one time and then it's just like, and if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> so we're just like, fuck it, let's run an all women's nightclub. And so within like 24 hours, we'd like booked a venue. We'd like, wow. <laughs> wow. And yeah, so that was on Saturday. And it was like everything that we imagined it to be. And it was so amazing. We had like 200 people come through. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> I think it was like a full full nightclub and it was like woman well, only yeah. identifying um and it was so much fun and it was so safe and people just like wore whatever they want and then I ended up being the MC for it so like I was on stage talking all night and it was oh my god <laughs> <laughs> ultimate like for the plot like none of yeah of us have like run a nightclub we've both run events before um yeah, just like, fuck it, like nobody else is doing it, let's just do it. <laughs> How amazing is that? Okay, so let's just, I'm going to give people first the background, like why are we here? This is a new segment of the Money Mindset Show and basically is having this talk of this, the things that really mess up with our heads, that the things that we had to let go on, you know, entrepreneurial journey. And it's real talk. Like is this is like not everybody is gonna put up a party in twenty four hours and say you know what I'm gonna do it no because the moment that you think like oh shit can I do it there's a lot of people that just like backs up from the idea of it not even like and they don't entertain this idea and that is the kind of things that I find so exciting and that's why I told Lucy that I want you to introduce yourself in a second. Let's do this because I have known Lucy since 2019 already back in New yeah. Zealand. Well, shit, yes. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> been a long, long journey. And it's just like, I always, like, we always have found, like, common 
mind, like way of thinking that are not common for the general public. <laughs> and for mm-hmm. us, it's just like, yeah, why not? Like, I remember one episode that we recorded together um, about your story when you had your other business and you were like, I don't want to wait for retirement to live my life. Like, uh, like, no, that's not me. So I really, this is what we need. This is the freshness and the lightness that we need. We are here for it. That was like a non-answer. It's just like, oh, just yeah, wearing like, but you yeah, can't just like not give a shit, like, and and right, and like the, over this weekend doing this nightclub, like who fucking does that, like, and we're saying like, oh, we're doing it for the plot sort of thing. It's like the definition yeah. of like fuck around and find out, like, no, we've never done this before, and it was like literally amazing. It was like just like in all the feedback, and like everyone wants us to do it again, do it again, and we're like eh, maybe, like, we know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and, we feel like it. and that's the most fun part because we have forgotten to have fun. Like I went to this conference. Um, when was it? Thursday or Friday? I don't remember. I don't know what day is today. But I went to this conference and then I found they were all around um startups, and I found this guy that literally was like pitching his startup that digitalized um like art. Um, what is it, country art, like, you know, the assets of the country or whatever, it created a whole wonderful thing. And I'm like, okay, so do you work here for something? Like, no, this is my side job. I just do this for the fun of it. I'm like, I'm like, you have put yourself through all of this just for the fun of it. It's like, yes, I have my, my nine to five job that I like. I just do this on the side and we have raised 1.5 million. And like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, wait, what? I want you on my podcast. I'm trying to lobby him to come here on the podcast because I re- But he is this kind of person that literally embodies that I'm just doing it because I like it, because it's fun for myself but that's not the business mentality that's mm-hmm. certainly not the the mentality of an entrepreneur that, who is looking to increase income or who is looking to have more money right mm-hmm. so i know i just i just pick on our, our notes yes people we have notes we we try to see what we're going to talk about and i want to dive into this um, it's not about the money because I think that's the one, that's the one piece of, I want to say crap, but not crap. That's the one, that's the type of information that really fucked us over that mm. business is about the money or is about the purpose. Like they are mutually exclusive. And if you are about the money, then forget about your whole well-being and forget about what you want and just work, 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 work until your effort pays off. Or if you're not about that, then you have to be 100% sen and, and just have fun and forget about it. It's just like, nah. There's a whole mindset there that that I I don't like, <laughs> but I want to hear this story to you. Oh yeah, so <laughs> I think the the prompt that I put in there is like it's not about the money. Um, yeah, which is funny because we love money. We I love it. You, like, <laughs> like, do you believe it or not? <laughs> I don't know. No, it, um, yeah, like I'm not doing this just like I talk about it because like it is like my life's purpose. I think talking about love and like I was born to love very deeply and to like show other people that that's possible. Um, but this, this story was like, it's not like, it's not about money. It's not about like earning money. It's, it's about, it's the way you think about money. That's more important. Mm -hmm. I remember like I had just quit my part-time job to have like full-time in my first business. Um, and it was like the most stressful three months of my entire. Yeah. I think my body aged like two years at about three months. Mm-hmm. Like, so, like physiologically aged. Wow. Because um, like I do scans and stuff at the gym. And, like yeah, it's about two years physically. Oh wow. Um, <laughs> um, and I remember I was like super stressed out, and I was like a thousand dollars in overdraft or something like that. I was like, oh my gosh, like. 
I thought like if I started living my purpose, like I thought that was it, like I thought money was going to start coming. Um, and I remember writing this journal entry like, oh my gosh, like this client is going to know that I'm a fraud and I can't afford to pay them their money back. And like everyone's going to know that I'm failing even though I quit my job. I'm going to have to ask for my old job back. And I was like, whatever it was, like $1,000 in overdraft, I think. I was like losing my mind. And then like a year later, I was $1,800 in overdraft. And I was like the happiest and like most fulfilled I'd ever been in my fucking life. (laughs) <laughs> I was like living the dream and I was like even further in debt and was like amazing um and like there was like a few shifts that we should go through right couple of shifts so like number one was getting like really uh nitty like I got into the nitty gritty of like what bills were coming up because I think like half of the battle was like um not knowing what was coming and not knowing if mm. I could afford to pay it <laughs> Yeah. I want to yeah. so like getting so like the unknown is always a lot more terrifying. Yeah. So like yeah. being too afraid to look at your money is like one of the things that I changed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's one of the things I changed. Um yeah. Which we do um, because, like, obviously, because you and I were talking about this, like, um, you got to, like, force yourself to go through these things. You know, like, if, if you're not working for yourself, if you're not trying shit, if you're not, like, doing it for the plot, you could go your whole life and, like, never, never know these. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> direct <laughs> myself, like, forcing Carl to, like, go through all of these changes. Um, and... So, yeah, like, number one was getting actually looking at and being like, I have X amount of dollars going out on this date and a, and I have, like, an invoice coming in before that. Like, oh, I can actually. Right. Like, I can, I can right. physically afford it. <laughs> yeah. And then the other thing I started doing was, like, accepting all forms of money. Um, because I think we get really um, worked up about like, oh, I'm not paying bills from my business yet, so my business isn't succeeding. Um, Or like, oh, I'm going to have to go back to my nine to five. Um, And so like any money that came in that wasn't from like coaching clients or from my writing clients, I was like, that money is not good enough. Um, And so I started, I know, like, good one. Um, Yeah. So, like, starting to accept money from, like, all of my side hustles, um, from, like, random gifts, uh, money that I found, like, refunds that were coming through. I was like, it's real money that pays real bills. (laughs) Right, right. So, like, yeah. Let me just say how deep that sings because, shit, (laughs) there are a lot of things to unpack there, right? Just the language that we use is real bills, but no real money. Yeah. What the hell are we talking about here? And and it's just like, it's so true to what the reality of many is. It's mm-hmm. so true what my reality was when I was studying as well, because we have been taught that the bills are real. Mm-hmm. Like the invoices that you get are real, but the little money that you're doing it's like oh it's just for giggles how impactful is that it's just like no people this is things that you are making and i don't know where we're gonna stop on thinking that one dollar one euro is less valuable than a thousand euro in your business yeah and that was the thing like so because like I'd I'd quit my my part time job, and so I had like a few retainer clients like on the books, um, and then I was like you know selling a few um, like digital products, um, and then I started a few side hustles, but like selling one ebook meant that I could like take myself out for coffee. I'm like that's a that's real money, 
paying for a real thing. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like you right. could still use that money. So that was like a massive shift for me because I was getting so tied up in not about like, oh, but it's not from my business. Like, oh, like. Really? Oh, <laughs> I could have been so much time stressing about it. Yeah. So much. Yeah. So like instead of thinking about like, oh, like I have to have another side hustle to pay for it so it's not working mm, and I yeah. changed it to more like I'm willing to do whatever it fucking takes to not go back to that job <laughs> like <laughs> just not me thing. no I was yeah. like not yeah. available for that I maintain that I'm like unemployable now I don't think I could go back to a job and then, and then the last sort of thing that I did um so as I said like I was way more in debt but I was like killing it I was feeling so good so the last thing I did was obviously change the narrative around that a little bit from like oh my god I don't know what I'm doing to isn't it fun knowing that everything's working out and then it always uh, and always it always has so like whenever I like can't see the end I'm just like it's it's just fun it's fun knowing that like I don't know how it's going to work out but it's fun knowing that it will like and then it always yeah yeah, yeah. I'm um, I'm telling you this is this has been one of the most difficult and deep beliefs that I had myself to start like reprogramming the definitions of isn't it fun to just let it happen mm. because I just realized this over the weekend like I said I'm I'm on the back end building a huge massive thing that I'm so excited to hopefully one day put it out there in the world. But it's like, I have no fucking clue how I'm going to make it happen. Like, I know it's good. I know the idea. I know everything. I know every single part. But I don't know how to build. I don't know how it's going to... I have no clue of it. So it has been like two weeks of me getting into my notes, getting into my all of that. I'm super happy, super inspired. And this morning I will come and like, and how you're going to make it work? Why are you wasting your time on this? Why are like, I'm all of this talk. I'm like, wait, I don't know. And I don't care. I'm just going to do it right. But I have to talk myself out of it. Because mm -hmm. it's still, there is a lot of layers for me. And of course, that I, I clearly see where that comes from. It comes from my father. It comes from my mom. Also, their father, their mother. Like, mm -hmm. if I see my whole generation, it's just like, it's like fun is not rewarding you in mm -hmm. the financial sense. Mm -hmm. It's the same deep belief that I see over and over again. Actually, it, I just wrote about um, clearing generational trauma with money as part of it mm -hmm. because I see the belief coming through even my great grandma. It's like you mm -hmm. have fun, but then you have to be serious to make business, to make financial, right? So mm -hmm. when building this massive thing, I'm like having fun and I'm like making it. And I know this is great. I know this is how you build a business, but there is still this mind that comes, that's part of mine that comes like, okay, but seriously, how are you going to make it work? Mm. And I'm like, I'm being serious. Like I'm having fun, but I'm being serious with this too. Wait, before we start, I need you to know this. If you're part of those who are working harder and longer, but are still not seeing the profits you deserve and want, you can now download our bestseller secret of high earning female CEOs. Download from overwork to CEO now and unlock the breakthrough you've been waiting for. The best part, access is for free for a limited time. Okay, but before I let you go, do you know that you have a space where your money mindset work is made extra simple so that you can increase your income, better your relationship with money and grow your business in such a simple and easy way? Go to themoneymindsethub.com and choose your path and start making those changes easily and effortlessly. That is themoneymindsethub.com. 
Ahora sí, Wealthy Soul, if you love this episode, don't forget to leave a review down below. It will help me to help more Wealthy Souls to transfer their money mindset. Thank you.